Our next speaker is George Myers, speaking on fees. Thank you, Janet. A fee in its purest sense is a payment for a service. And as opposed to a tax, it is a voluntary involvement. Some good examples here in the city is the fee charged to play in a softball team in the city leagues or to close off a street for a block party. I have no objection to fees. It follows the rules. If you want to play, you've got to pay. The choice is yours. Government units have expanded the definition of fee to include dedicated funds. Examples of that here in the city are the fire department fees and water runoff fees. This fee is not voluntarily. It is assessed like and essentially is a tax. This involuntary assessment government fees is used for two purposes. Hide a tax increase, circumvent a tax levy limit. This involuntary fee is not a direct exchange for a service rendered. It pretends to be, but it is not. For instance, it does not cost the fire department $150 to inspect smoke detectors of a store or apartment building. It doesn't cost the fire department anything extra except a little gas money for the fire engine. We are already paying for the vehicle and, and personnel in our property taxes. These fire department fees were used to increase the fire department budget without using property taxes for the reasons I just stated. Then we have the unit fees. This council has developed a fee which is by anyone's comprehension really not a fee but a fine. And the reason for assessments in this manner is to bypass the burden of allowing constituents their right to due process and appeal. My alderman Jim Kaplan has suggested to me that the way to eliminate unit is for everyone just to obey the law of the land as he puts it and do what unit wants. I use Jim as an example, but I have complete certainty the rest of you totally agree with his concept. <coughs> there is a new fine procedure, which I'm sure most of you are aware of. It may be illegal in Wisconsin. And that is the traffic signal cameras used in many cities around the United States, wherein a motorist who runs a stoplight is fined by the camera and associated computers through the mail. Great fundraisers are these cameras. And despite proponents of the cameras using the same argument Jim uses, just obey the law and we'll get rid of them, California courts and a few other cities are ruling the use of these cameras illegal for lack of due process. And not one of these judges is saying it's okay to run a traffic signal. What is senior in importance in monitoring, in monitoring the motorist, the courts say, is constitutional rights to due process. Please wrap it up, Mr. Mayor. No one I know of is recommending getting rid of unit, as Jim suggests. I'm only saying put unit back on the constitutional basis that unit operated before it was given this fee power. That's all I have time for this evening. Thank you, Mayor. You are utilizing, by the way, a scheme called bait and switch in the assessment of another fee. I will talk to you about Thursday night at the budget hearing. Thank you. Thank you.